guys hi side joe here on another episode of harley reviews today is an exciting one we got the new 2020 lowrider s 114 cubic inch milwaukee m8 motor we got all black betsy out here today you know me you know i like black she got black motor exhaust little copper tone wheels looking pretty good so a lot to talk about this one too this is uh Probably one of the nicest bikes they have in the Dyna lineup, pretty much. Uh, a four inch mono shock in the rear by Showa. We also got a 43 millimeter inverted front end from Showa as well. Non adjustable, but still definitely a huge upgrade from, from the regular style dampening rod uh, suspension. These are cartridges. I'll stay on the front end right now. Uh, no mono blocks, but radial mount calipers, floating rotors. Uh, 300 millimeter discs, three or four inch riser, T-bar, uh, straight riser, with probably a two inch rise on the bar. Just sitting on the bike, just to pull it out real quick, the first thing I noticed when I went to go kick the kickstand up is the kickstand's kind of in a weird spot, tucked under the, the mid control, that was kind of weird to find. And the gauge cluster up top is uh, on top of the tank. It's kind of hideous if you ask me, I really, they could have did a better job on that. I don't, I don't really know what they were going for with that one, but the tank is actually five gallons. So on my 2011 Super Glide, I believe it's like a four gallon tank. My Road Glide is about the same four gallons and I could usually run about 160 miles on a tank with that bike. And this, uh, the Harley website is telling me that this thing will do about 235 miles on a tank. So I'd be curious about that. That's, that's a pretty long, uh, long haul, long stretch on a bike without taking a break. So. If, if your gas can out, uh, outlast your riding, that's that's a pretty good thing. Heading back to the rear of the bike, we got a tube swing arm with a 292 millimeter rotor in the rear with a two piston caliper. A really fancy LED tail light here. Staying with the old look, old style of tail lights. Big and kind of ugly if you ask me, but definitely does its job that one's a little cleaner than the old big red ones that they had We're running a 180 rear tire on this so pretty thick same same size as uh, sport bike tires um, still belt driven for final drive solo seat um, it does come with ABS from the factory as well so that'll definitely help you out the RDRS system is not on this bike um, still cable clutch fly-by-wire throttle though that definitely takes some getting used to. I've ridden a couple of these bikes now with the fly-by-wire, and it, it's a different touch for sure. It's something that you gotta you gotta get used to a little bit. But I'm ready to give this one a rip. I know this is one of the best handling bikes that Harley has right now, and I've been excited to get my hands on it. And Speedway Harley's been selling them faster than I can get in here to ride them. So finally got a shot. So I'm gonna take it today. It's beautiful, 60 degrees out. Two days before Thanksgiving, and uh, I don't know. I can't think of a better time to ride some motorcycles. So I don't need an excuse to ride a bike, but Harley gives me plenty. Turn this bad boy on. Hit the start button. Sounds good. I like this handlebar position. Uh, mid controls, super nice. I love mid controls. I'm a short guy. I can't be having my feet way all out here. Quiet, quiet exhaust. I don't. I don't like quiet. I like loud. Loud pipes save lives. You hurt? Suspension's nice and plush, but it's not too soft. We'll see. See how she reacts. I'm excited to get on this thing. Ooh. This one feels very sporty. By far the sportiest bike I've gotten on in this dealership. I haven't rode the, the streets yet or anything. Uh, but I'll get on those next. This thing's got torque. I like this thing. It's got a lot of power. Like I said, definitely a uh, a sporty ride. It's not aggressive, but it's it's sporty. Your knees are bent at a 90 uh, degree angle, which is pretty nice. You know, I feel like I'm leaned forward a little bit. I'm on top of the the weight of the bike, so definitely handles good. Damn, man, this bike's fast. 119 foot pounds of torque from the factory from this 114 um, so a lot of power but on a on a platform that's designed to handle it so 
This is probably going to be one of the best cornering bikes, best canyon bike they have. I've noticed I'm sliding around in this seat a lot already, even just from one little turn now. But, oh, this bike's got power, man. I think I read one time that this bike has like 63 degrees of lean angle, if I'm correct. This thing needs an exhaust bad. I know this thing would sound nasty with an exhaust. Six speed transmission on this one. Pretty sure all Harleys are now six speed, so I don't know why I continue to say that every video, but just so you know. Yeah, fuck yeah. I could use one of these in my life for sure. Let's see the braking power. Not too much of a dive in the front end. It, it stops pretty good. This bike is fast, man. This bike is actually pretty, pretty quick. I'm impressed. Super fast. Loving it. This is a showroom floor bike with three miles on it and the tires are definitely not broken in so they are a little slick back there so I'm not gonna get crazy but definitely a nice ride man a lot of guys are coming nowadays over from the sport bikes to the Harleys I was one of them a couple years ago but if you're gonna come from a sport bike a street bike to so something like this this is the one man this is a uh, I think it's 680 pounds curb weight I wish these tires were broken in more I'd really get on her a little bit but good braking into the corners Super solid feel on this bike. Acceleration's exactly where you want it. it the, the flyby wire, I mean, it's a little twitchy. Uh, like I said, it, it definitely takes a little bit of time to get used to, but it feels good. Definitely uh, power delivery is on point. Definitely got wheelies. This bike is dope. I'm still tripping on this one. I like it. <laughs> She's a pretty bike, bro. I like it.